So here's a concept from the tech industry that you'll never hear in the automotive industry, and it's called open source. So for those of you who don't know what open source is, there are companies in the tech world that make the thing that they invented, a piece of software is commonly what it's used for, they make the code or the secret sauce and the design of that available for the world to upgrade, improve, contribute to for free. And you're going, well, that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but how do they make their money? Well, where do they make their money? They make their money on support of that software. They make their money on custom design pieces or upgrades, but they also make their money on higher versions. So. You know, if you want to have a hardened version that's better tested, if you want to have something that's proven in the industry, um, you can pay for the commercial version or the, you know, improved version, which does sometimes have some proprietary things and secret sauce inside of it. Sometimes it doesn't. But you'll never see that in the automotive industry. You see Toyota going up to you and going, hey, here's the design to our car. Go make your own. Have fun with it. Let us know how it works out. Do you see GM going, hmm, you want to be able to make your own truck? Here, we'll give you the plans to our computer that controls it. Have fun. See you. We'll see how it makes work. No, it doesn't. Only places you're seeing where you might get exposure to the source code are you either work for the automotive company, you work in a university or an engineering firm that, that that teaches people how to make this kind of stuff. Or you may, oh, maybe there's some people that have put some open source projects out there, but the actual full design, it's, it's kind of that secret sauce that people hide. So what if you change that? What if you made the design of a powertrain open source, where the world could see the way that the components would fit together? And then there could be a company that puts together maybe the, the computer box that controls all that or and, and that works with those blueprints or like DeBoss and, and uh, Edison are doing working with kits, you know, that you can use, can convert things or, or Edison's also making their own trucks as well. But, you know, like there's there's many ways that that model where it's been used in the tech industry could apply to the automotive industry and you can get some really interesting designs out of it but i don't know just my two cents subscribe you'll hear more of the story as i try and figure out whether it'll fit